Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, Master of Health and Longevity and Creator of Modern Health Myths. And today we're going to talk about eggs and whether they are evil or whether they're actually good for you. The problem is that for quite a few years we had our blinders set on cholesterol and anything that had cholesterol in it must be bad for us and it was going to kill us and all you had to do was look at it and it was enough to kill you off. That was largely driven by the fear created that, wow, we have a drug that can lower cholesterol so cholesterol must be evil and we need to avoid it at all costs. That was never true. Um, and uh, the, the people that understand nutrition had less of an issue <clears throat> with eggs than the people that didn't understand nutrition and all they thought was cholesterol was evil and they were going to use drugs to lower cholesterol and anything, any food that had cholesterol in it, we needed to avoid. Never true and certainly hasn't changed. And this particular study just kind of it's one of the larger ones I've seen on eggs and how it plays a role. Um, it looked at almost 19,000 people, so 18,914. Followed people for almost 15 years. So this is a pretty large study following people for a long period of time. And they found that those people who, they, they looked at the risk of dying, uh, both from heart disease and, uh, from heart disease and, um, any other cause of death. So basically in total mortality. So those people who had eggs one to three times per week uh, were pretty close to people that had three to seven per week. So basically one to seven eggs per week. So one a day, anywhere from one every other day to one a day, those people had a 31-32% lower risk of dying. I think that's pretty significant. I mean, there's other factors at play, but clearly the eggs weren't killing people off because of the cholesterol in them. Uh, those people had about one to two per day, so that's quite a bit of eggs, um, ended up with about a 22% lower risk. So they're still generally an animal product, and having too much of that can create a problem. So uh, I generally recommend having you know, egg a couple times a week is certainly fine. One of the things I always tell patients to be aware of is the whole concept of vegafed eggs, which usually means they are fed flaxseed. Well, flaxseed is higher in healthy omega-3 fats. Those are always better for us to have in higher amounts. And so when the chickens eat the flaxseed, those healthier fats show up in the eggs. They show up in the eggs and they're going to be even more protective. Now this study didn't look at that particular aspect of eggs, but it's something I always recommend because it certainly makes sense. So uh, scramble them. I always tell patients if you're going to do eggs, what can we do to increase the value? So don't cook in nonstick cookware. We've certainly covered that enough. Um, scramble it and throw in whatever you can, salsa on top, jalapenos, onions, green peppers, anything you can add that's going to add plant-based value to the eggs is just going to make them an even better meal option for you. As always, I will post a link to this particular study in the comment section. Make sure you share this video with somebody who thinks eggs are evil and that cholesterol, eating cholesterol will kill you, and subscribe to the channel.